As I continue my uh, journey of self-discovery as an autistic person, there are two main traits I've learned, and especially for me, are way at the, the very tippy, tippy, tippy top of the list for me, and those two are hyperfocus and autistic inertia. Hyperfocus and autistic inertia are the most powerful traits that taunt and torment me constantly. But at least hyperfocus is fun and I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much so that it's actually my uh, best and favorite way to uh, re-regulate myself when I get kind of f***ed up. But that's not what we're talking about today. And again, I'm still on my journey. So, you know, please correct me if I'm using the term, uh, the incorrect term here. But dude, this f***ing autistic inertia. I, oh my God. There are no words to explain how powerful this is. And because there are no words, I find that anytime you try to explain to anybody, like a doctor or just anybody who will maybe listen, there's because there's no words, it just comes out sounding, I don't know, lame, kind of half-assed and sort of flaky maybe. And then you're usually just met with, you just need to take the time and focus. You know, just break everything down into smaller tasks and, and tackle them just one at a time. And I get, this is coming from, you know, a place of kindness and wanting to help. I totally understand that. But when it's, when we're explaining it and, and what's coming from our end of that is, is coming from a place of utter despair, uh, like with no way out or no way to move forward and, and no way to explain what is going on and what it is happening and what it feels like. So, I mean, at least for me, I just don't even bother even trying to explain it to anybody. Autistic inertia and hyperfocus can work in tandem with each other and sort of work off each other. But honestly, and this inertia is, it's this whole separate thing, man. Hyperfocusing is taking our special interest of the day <laughs> and laser focusing right in on it because, well, we find it interesting, like crazy focusing on it, like for hours and hours and hours on end. And anything that we're not interested in, you know, we just kind of push it aside and we just don't do it because we don't want to do it because we're not interested in it and we don't give a shit. It's boring. I don't care because, well, we're not interested in it. I don't want to learn about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't care. But that that's not autistic inertia. That's that's different. With inertia, we want to work on this thing. We want to do it. We obsess about it. We obsess about learning about it. We want to hyper-focus on this thing. We find it interesting. We're dying to talk about it. <laughs> we know how to do it. We have the technology to do it. Everything's just laying out there in front of us, waiting for us to do it. Maybe we've already done it a whole bunch of times and it's very easy for us to do. But for whatever reason, we physically just can't budge and just do it. This is something that I have dealt with my entire life, like for years and years and years, and it's plagued me forever. But there's no language available to describe how it feels. So I never ever talked about it. Or I never bothered bringing it up. I could never tell anybody because I just couldn't explain it. I still can't. <laughs> and I'm here like trying to find words that match that feeling that's up here, you know, to explain how there are no words to explain. And it's driving me insane. I can get out a dictionary and a thesaurus, but there's nothing in there that's gonna help. I, I can't get what's in here out and like, throw it out there to you so you can understand. You, you're not going to understand or be able to empathize or sympathize or whatever a thighs unless you actually experience it yourself. There's, there's never going to be a way for me to explain that. And it drives me. I can't, I can't take it. And also because we can't explain, uh, you know, we may come across as very frivolous or flaky when you find us, <laughs> you know, playing video games or hyper-focusing on our, our special interests or like hiding on the couch under a weighted blanket watching Superstore again for the fifth time in a row. Believe me, it's not frivolous or flaky. We have become so dysregulated from suffering with this inertia. We're totally and completely just lost and stuck and we just need our safe place to re-regulate. Re I don't even know if that's a word, but it is now, so deal with it. Is this like an executive function dysfunction? <laughs> Is that what we would call it, I guess? Because it really throws me off. It's insane. 
for me, sometimes it's just a waiting game, to be honest with you. Um, like, I know that I'm going to get it, and I know that I'm going to do it. I just can't move forward on it yet. There's like some external force is is controlling the timing of it for some reason and is locking something up here that I can't control, and I just have to wait. I'll look at a list of things that I need to do, I need to get to, I'll go through them one at a time, and I can visualize, I don't know how to explain it, but I can see, oh, shit, nope, that's still locked. And I almost get a little bit of this weird anxiety gut, and I'm kind of like, okay, never mind, next. Go through the next one. Oh, shit, that one's locked too. The next one. Oh, okay, you know what? Actually, I think I can bang that one out, and I'll do it. But if that door is locked and I can't unlock it, it's not happening. It's just, it won't happen, and I just need to keep waiting for it to start, or it's on lock. Other times it'll just pop up out of the blue, out of nowhere and be like, hey, guess what? The door is unlocked, come on in, time to go. And I'll do it. And when I'm done, uh, it's exhilarating because I've probably just ended up really hyper-focusing on it and just pounding away at it, getting this task done that needed to be done. And it, f it gives you that dopamine hit of accomplishment and it feels amazing. It's so rewarding. But honestly, 90% of the time it just... <sighs> It just makes me like, uh, just and confused and, and lost and, and just stuck. I, and I just don't know where to go next. You know, like even just the thought, just even thinking about that one thing I need to do makes me so tired that I could just fall asleep like right where I am. So it affects my work. I run my own interior design company. I'm the, you know, I got to come up with a creative, amazing, really cool idea for your home. And sometimes like I can feel that the inspiration is there and I can tell that it's, oh yeah, it's there, but I can't fully see it yet. But I know it's there. It's like, I'm looking right at it. It's right, right there. It's right there in the front even, but it's like, it's behind reeded glass or frosted glass. So it's all these weird shapes and colors in my head. So I guess it's still forming but I have the idea of it and it's there and I feel good about it, but that's it. I can't move forward because I can't see it. God, I don't think that makes any sense. It makes sense to me, but again, there's, uh, the, there's the lack of language to explain this is infuriating, by the way. With that, all I can do again is just wait. I just got to sit there and wait for, oh, there it is. There it is. There's that blast of the, the window, the glass has exploded and I can see everything and all its glory and off I go and look out because I'm gone. You will not hear from me for days, weeks, however long it is. And I'm just pounding away here at, the, at my computer, building it and growing it into something amazing to show the clients. But sometimes that can take me months just to unlock it. And that's not good. I, I uh, you're, I can't just leave the clients just sitting there waiting for months just be, for me to say, here you go, here's what I want to do. F it's bad. I guess it's kind of like uh, saying to an addict, and uh, this all comes from a lot of experience, by the way, just stop snorting all that Coke. Hey, I know. Why don't you just stop taking all those prescription pills? Hey, just stop eating all that food. Hey, I know. Why don't you f off? We can't just go, hey, stop letting your brain block you. Just do that thing. Just make a list of goals and attack them one by one. I don't know how to explain why, but that doesn't help and those lists don't work. Those lists just become yet another thing that is being blocked, that I can't get to, that's just piling on top, which builds even more anxiety, which totally makes me even more dysregulated and off I go into VR to kill zombies. When I first started working in design, it was really difficult for me to translate all of this out my mouth to the client so they would know. So I've, I, over the years, I've taught myself how to use all these incredible softwares to put exactly what this is and make it look exactly like I, I see in 3D in my computer. I do 3D modeling, and then I can do photorealistic rendering photos and videos. I turn everything into videos and make it really cool and edgy and fun and really inspiring. I've taught myself how to do all of that and it's been amazing and it's saved everything. It's it just relieved so much pressure here. But this one thing, this fucking inertia thing has just eluded me. I can't 
grab it. I've been trying to think of how to how to show visually in video or pictures or something. What is this? Like, what is if there's never enough? It's not never strong enough. It's like, oh, it's like a a brick wall in the way. Nah, it's worse than that. It's not. That's not enough. That's not enough. Just. I just can't wrap my brain around it. I just can't like grab it and go, oh, here, put this into a video to explain to everybody what's, what's going on here. And all that's happening is that's perpetuating this inertia and making it even worse. I am, I am blocked from explaining what it feels like to be blocked. Fuck. What the fuck, man? And even the word blocked doesn't feel strong enough. There is no verbiage in existence to explain this. It, it's right there. Like I can, it's right here and I can feel like I could reach out and touch it. I can see it. I can fucking feel it, but I just can't stop it from stopping me. And I can't verbalize or express how devastating and destructive it is. The effects are catastrophic. The death grip that it takes on our brain that just literally stops any movement. It's not even like being caught in quicksand. It's worse than that. That's not strong enough. And maybe it's like, like being completely submerged into concrete and just left in there as it dries. You can't even wiggle a finger. You can't even move an arm to like wave down to anybody to rescue you. You can't scream out for help because nobody can hear you. You're just immobilized, invisibly frozen in place, unable to even breathe. And the world just keeps moving all around you. Like the world has continued on just moving along, but for some reason you can see it. You can see it through all that concrete surrounding you and you're just watching the rest of the world go by without you. And you stagnate there with rigor Morris decomposing and just rotting in in place. Holy did I even, did I just explain that? Was that, that was pretty good actually. I feel like that was not bad, but honestly, even that is still, it isn't powerful enough to explain the lock. I keep trying to stay positive. I keep trying to say it's all going to be fine, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. My executive function has been completely decimated. You know, I do believe in that whole thing about writing things down and saying them out loud can help. It can be very helpful in, in alleviating things and making you at least sit comfortably with them. But my version of that is making videos, making these little music videos that visualizes this. You know, I love nothing more you know, then just saying it out loud on video, <laughs> closing my eyes, crossing my fingers and pushing publish and hope that it gets out there and sparks something in one of you to go, dude, me too. So I, I guess I kind of did this video in hopes of reaching out to you, you out there, you know, do you feel this way too? Maybe you do. And if you do, Hey, want to commiserate together? <laughs> You know, maybe we form a little community of where we can all commiserate and bitch together. <laughs> a whole community of bitchers and commiserators all hanging out together, commiserating and bitching. Why not? I also did this video because I need help. I need help with this autistic inertia. I'm riddled with it. It has permeated every fiber of my soul. I made this video in hopes of just getting it out in the universe, hoping that maybe even it'll alleviate even just a little bit of it, but it hasn't. <sighs> 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 me.